Ed's a social media sensation, one of the hottest apps for videos of dance challenges with friends. Team, so it's like you're never gonna get bored on the app. You'll also never be bored in this house with video shoots. And this is just one of the reasons why TikTok's not the same anymore. Yo, what's up guys, it's Alex, I'm back with another video. Um, I'm just gonna try to formulate opinion on what I think about this whole platform called TikTok and everything. You don't have to agree with me. Not every opinion video you have to see online, you have to agree with it. But I hope we can kind of see eye to eye by the end of this video. So my name is Alex and I actually have a TikTok myself. Um, I have around like a million followers or whatever, but it's just a side thing. I think it is as in general, it's just a side thing. I think the app is just not the same as how it used to be. And it's not as enjoyable as it is anymore. So I'm gonna keep this very brief. Um, <coughs> God, I'm gonna keep this very brief, and hopefully you can understand some of the points where I'm coming from. Uh, once again, thanks for being here. All right, let's get started. The number one reason why TikTok is not the same is because of this hype that's going around. So one of the most common things that's going around TikTok right now is this hype that everybody's talking about. Now this hype started around late 2019, and it's just taken over the whole platform, in my opinion. So what creators are doing, they're giving up their original content and just hopping on people's waves that do have the hype just because they want a bit of themselves. And because of this, lack of creativity comes into play and it spreads across the whole platform. When I wake up and I go on TikTok, I just don't see the same videos I used to see back in summer of 2019 and 2018. I see the four same dance moves and I just feel like that's what's taken over and it's just for worse. Now there's some few exceptions to all my points I'm making here, but the hype has changed creators for the worse. Creators are leaving their original content and they're hopping on these three or four same dance move trends. And that's why I think videos have just not become funny anymore or enjoyable anymore. Number two, the TikTok lifestyle isn't what you think of it as. Now, my earlier point about the hype actually translates into this one. So when teens view TikTok, they view it as a very lucrative platform, but actually it's far from that. The platform itself, if you're under 18, which the majority of the people are, you're not going to be making any money unless it's from advertisements. Now, people in high school, they want to live like the people in the hype house. So that's the content they want to see. And that's why I believe it's, it's gone down once again. I myself have a million followers, but I still have to go to school. I still gotta, I still gotta work, you know? I'm, I'm not making the racks on racks on racks. Online, it says I'm making one to five million. Subtract one to five million. Subtract all of that. I have probably three digits in my bank account right now, and I've had multiple jobs. Now, sure, yes, it's nice to have advertisement money for my videos, but it's not that much. People instantly think that if they get a certain amount of following, they can just drop out of school and go to LA. That is completely, completely off. You need to stay in school, okay? You gotta stay in school, man. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna have more longevity in the long run. Because in reality, this app is not gonna last forever. And so that's why I'm here making this video. And a lot of people have seen these dance trends that are getting millions and millions of likes. Back when I said the lack of creativity, it's just, it's just ridiculous. In my opinion, this app is just on a constant downfall and a constant declivity, and I don't see it getting better anytime soon. Now, I'm sure there's gonna be people upset by this because don't get me wrong, people like Charlie D'Amelio, Addison Rae, they're very lovely people and they're great people. And you gotta give respect to them. They're just doing, for, doing what their fans wanna see. So I kind of stumbled a bit, but, um, I just believe what they're doing is just spreading all over the app and it's just, uh, it's, it's not making it any better. Number three, the people on TikTok are egotistical. I mean, I've met a lot of creators through different uh, conventions and all that and stuff, and I've really got to see the side of them. Now, don't get me wrong, there's exceptions. I've met some of the nicest people at conventions, but some of the people with a large following, it can get to their head. And in reality, they're probably living just like me. But you gotta think of it like this. TikTok followers are really just a grain of sand, while other platforms, Instagram, YouTube, compare that grain of sand just to a gold block. That's in my point of view. And it's actually gotten to the point where some creators, in order to make TikToks, they'd be like, oh, you have to have this many followers or this many followers. That's not the point, man. The point is to make good content for what the people wanna see, not, the same three dance moves. I know I've reiterated this point many times. Just not the same three dance moves. I don't want to see that. And 
uh, I could I could ramble about this all day basically, but I'm getting sick of creators going in Instagram DMs saying, oh, I have this many followers, so send me stuff, send me nudes. That's not the way to go. People are using this platform and their gained amount of followers just to think they're bigger than somebody they're not. Once again, this is just coming from personal experience. Maybe I'm just not good at talking to people, but some of the people I met in real life are just not the same. They have a completely different side of them to what their videos show. Number four, back to the content. Um, a lot of it's just fake and it's not funny. A lot of content you'll see on the app when you first get it is just a bunch of content that's just so, so terribly acted, dude. It's like this. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, bro, come on. Now there are still some creators on this platform that I actually do still watch and they are carrying the platform. I don't wanna say names, but you know who you are. Basically the main point of this video is just for me to say that the hype house is just complete utter bullshit. I'm trying to advise that the younger people don't look at the hype house and think every TikToker's life is like that. Yes, Charlie, Addison Ray. Thomas Petru, that snake guy, I don't know. They're all getting money. They're making money, trust me. They're making money. But that's only a mere 0.5% of this platform. So I just believe that idea needs to be put in people's heads so we can go back to the original content, what used to be fun. There's a time when people were just doing Fortnite dances on it just for fun and it gained attention and everybody loved it. I think those people who made those videos were planning to make a hype out? No, they are just doing what what made them laugh and made us laugh. So basically this video is just an opinion by me. You don't have to agree with me. Of course, you don't have to agree with me. I just wanna make some points. Maybe you can see eye to eye with me. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm done posting on the app. I'll still post. It's something that everybody should see as on the side because this app doesn't really have that much longevity. I'm sure I'm gonna get plenty of hate comments that are just hype house stands, but once again, the whole point of this video is to explain why the Hype House is completely false. It is not a representation of who TikTokers are. I believe that is the reason why TikTok is not the same as it used to be. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, this is more like a serious video, but if you want some more, you know, comedic stuff, just let me know. Um, I've been working on a lot of music lately, so uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys have a blessed day and just hope you guys just stay safe during this quarantine. Um, hope to catch y'all later. I'll see you later.